Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. I am very excited to bring this video to you all. I'm going to be reviewing one of my favourite recent pickups of late, and that is the Cold Bucks and Down Insulated Jacket. But before we jump into the video, I just want to say if you enjoy watching this, please don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe to the channel. Back to the jacket, and I've had my eye on it ever since the guys teased it on the Cold Bucks and Instagram page. I just think a black puffer coat is such an essential piece that every guy should have in their wardrobe. It's just perfect for those winter months. One of the reasons why I like Cole Buxton and purchase a large amount of their clothing is because I feel it fits me so well and it's the exact fit and look I'm looking for in my outfits and the way I dress. It's very chilled and gives me that perfect relaxed slash oversized fit. So naturally, I was very intrigued to see if they could replicate that same look and fit into a puffer coat, which is actually quite a hard thing to do, especially if the brand specializes predominantly in jersey, so crew sweats, zip hoodies, joggers, and tees. I'm pleased to say they absolutely did. Here is the jacket. Honestly, it's such a sick item of clothing. I'm very impressed by it and very buzzing to own one. I just want to give you guys a quick rundown on how the jacket's been made and some of its details. So first things first, I've been wearing this jacket for about two weeks now, and trust me when I tell you, it's going to keep you incredibly, incredibly warm. It's made using high loft and heavyweight down. So in simple terms, the higher the feel power of a down jacket, the warmer it's going to keep you. So staying warm in this isn't going to be a problem. It's also ethically sourced down. The fabric used is a soft faced Italian nylon, which feels very luxurious. And two of my favorite details on the jacket is the two-way Riri zipper, which has become synonymous with Cold Buster products, and also the stitch detailing on the cuff. And lastly, the jacket is finished with a cozy insulated hood, and this is how it looks on. Now onto the sizing. I'm quite in between sizing in general for most clothing items, but for Cole Buxton, for example, I know I'm a small in the t-shirts, I wear medium in the zip hoods, and usually a small in the crew necks, which I know is a bit of a variance, but recently they've opened up a store in Soho. So if you're London or Southern based, definitely come down, check it out, meet the guys in there, and actually try on a few different clothing items, because I think a few of them do fit slightly differently. But for this jacket specifically, I went for a medium. I probably could have got away with a small, but it would have been a bit too tight on my back. The medium allows me to wear a layer underneath, such as a hoodie or a crew neck. And as for my measurements, I'm five foot nine slash five foot ten with an athletic build. So hopefully that lets you determine your size a bit easier. I just want to touch on the fit of this jacket. In my opinion, it's more of a subtle oversized fit and it's quite short in terms of length. It's not cropped or anything like that, like most of their clothing. It actually falls quite nicely on the waist. Now onto the price. It's definitely one of their more expensive clothing items. The retail on this is actually £420. I purchased this during the Black Friday promotions, which is one of the only times that Cole Buxton have ever done a discount. So I managed to get 20% off this, which is a touch really. And I'd say based on the fabrics used, the size of the brand, I feel the price point is definitely warranted and fair. So that's my quick size guide and review of the Cole Buxton Down Insulated Jacket. I'd fully recommend it if you're looking for a nice luxury black puffer. If you do have any questions in terms of sizing or anything like that, be sure to drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Just before I go as well, I do want to say if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to smash the like button and also to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see some more content from me wearing this puffer, be sure to check me out on Instagram. You can find me at Charlie Turner with three R's. Drop me a follow and say hello. Thanks so much again for watching the video and I'll see you very soon in the next one.